Hi, thank you for joining the Stella Life Innovators Series. I'm Liz Lundry, a hygienist and the clinical education manager for Stella Life. Today, we're gonna to be featuring Dr. Alan Farber, who is not only a leader and educator, but continues to get dentists together. In 2002, he started the Perio Implant Message Board that grew to over 400 specialists. This led to the founding of the IADS, the International Association of Dental Specialists, which was launched this past November. Dr. Farber continues to practice periodontics and is the director of two Spear Study Clubs, a dental hygiene study club, and a Seattle study club, the Long Island Dental Forum. He is a clinical assistant of professor at Stony Brook School of Dentistry, and in 2019 became a certified laser instructor for the Institute of Advanced Laser Dentistry. He's a past president of Suffolk County Dental Society and the Northeastern Society of Periodontists. He's a member of numerous associations and a fellow of the Pierre Fauchard Academy. I would like to welcome Dr. Alan Farber. Thank you, Liz, and thanks for inviting me to this program. I really appreciate what Stella Life is doing. And I want to spend a little time talking about IAS, the International Association of Dental Specialists. It all started back in 2002 when I had a lot of guest speakers, different specialists from across the country, actually from across the world, visiting Long Island and presenting to my, my study club. And I said, wouldn't it be great if we had an open platform where people can post their daily questions, patient cases, and get input, not only from local people, but specialists across the country. And it grew. And in 18 years, it grew to over 400 members. And counting back, we had over 28,000 posts in that time. And realized, I realized that there was not an organization anywhere in the United States and actually not anywhere in the world where all specialists are together in one roof, under one roof in one organization. There are great organizations for general dentists, and there are organizations for dental implants, which put some specialists together, but not one where we can be totally interdisciplinary and provide this kind of service. So we launched in November the IADS, International Association of Dental Specialists, and we have an online community to support, support dental specialists and help them survive, especially now with COVID, to help them survive. And so what we started doing every day at 12 o'clock New York time is having a, we call it coffee hour. And we get together, it's kind of like the screen looks like the Brady Bunch. We all see one another and say hello to one, a virtual meeting. And we're helping each other get through this by sharing ideas and thoughts. It started with first patient cases and questions about day-to-day -day routine, HR issues, staff issues, and supporting one another, and also helping hygienists and giving them information. But now we've gone into what do we do for patients and our staff. So today I'm busier than ever, and that's how I'm coping with it. I get up every morning at 6 a.m., I read my emails, I do my, my exercise in the morning, and now I'm having weekly staff, virtual staff meetings, and reaching out to our patients and making sure they're okay. And we also have webinars on our site. IADS is an interdisciplinary organization. Our goal is to help not only our members, but also we plan on reaching out to our general dentist colleagues, our restorative colleagues, and helping them to be better general dentists. There's a lot of courses out there where a dentist can take, a general dentist can take to learn about specialists or try to become a specialist, but anybody, not anybody, but whoever wants to become a specialist can go ahead and do a residency like myself. They can do a periodontal residency for three years or oral surgery or any other residency and become a specialist. But if they want to be an excellent general dentist, the best way for them to do that is learn to work together with specialists and ultimately the patient wins. And so what our program and our organization will be supporting general dentists 
who want to learn and who want to be better general dentists. Together as a community, I as we're really looking and dealing now with COVID, we're really evaluating how do we move forward now? How do we, what do we do with air filtration? Do we need air evacuation? Do we, what's with PPE? What changes do we have to make? And we're, of course, we're all waiting to hear what the ADA and CDC guidelines will be. But in the meanwhile, we all as a community are getting together and sharing ideas. From when a patient walks into our practice today, what's going to change? Is there going to be a waiting room? Or will patients be waiting in their cars and then we text them to come in and check their temperature, wipe their hands with disinfectant? What kind of mouthwash will they rinse and for how long? As a matter of fact, this today at 4 p.m., we're having a little wine and cheese, virtual wine and cheese party for all IADS members to get together and brainstorm and share ideas of how we can change our practices. What do we need to do? I'd like to talk a little bit about periodontal treatment and immune system. And for my whole career, going back when I first started practicing 32 years ago, patients would come in, patients that I treated for periodontal disease at that time was conventional osseous regenerative therapy. And today we're doing more and more laser treatment. Patients would come and say, Dr. Farber, since I had my treatment, I just feel healthier. My whole body feels healthy. And I would say, well, it's all connected, of course. Um, there's no valve, there's no tourniquet here in the neck that stops the blood flow uh, from the mouth with bacteria and disease to get into the rest of the body. So now more than ever, we need to inform our patients of why periodontal treatment is so important. And so by keeping our immune system working on all cylinders, we're gonna help fight off other diseases. And that's where Stella Life comes in. And that's why I'm a big, a big believer in their product and, and more natural healing. Our country uses way too many antibiotics, as we all know. So if we can use products that are more natural and help people have a healthier life, I'm, I'm in support of that. Pulling it all together, um, organiz this organization that I'm, I've launched is to help dentistry move forward, help um, more than ever specialists. And there's been a, a big changes in our country and we're all seeing that there's more um, dental service organizations, more corporate involvement in dentistry, and they do serve their purpose. But now more than ever, we need to help not dilute what a specialist does. Um, together, we can accomplish so much more. Together, we'll help each other, and dentistry will move forward in the right direction, and patients ultimately will benefit. Thanks again for having me here on your program. Thank you, Dr. Farber. And thank you everybody for spending part of your day with us. Please join us next week on a Friday at three o'clock Eastern, 12 o'clock Pacific, where we're going to have as our guest, Michelle Lee, who is the executive director of the Organization for Safety, Asepsis and Prevention. So she's going to be giving us some insight on how we can navigate the uncharted waters of COVID-19 as we're returning to our offices. So have a wonderful week. Stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, join us then. Thank you so much.